Today we're going to be DIYing a sort of iced coffee cup with a whipped cream illusion on top. Uh, the thing that's going to take the longest amount of time is definitely the whipped cream illusion, so I'm using White Model Magic here. Uh, as it stretches, you can notice it really does kind of give off a real whipped cream kind of texture, so I rolled it out uh, pretty thick actually and I began wrapping it slowly around the top. Do try as hard as possible not to put the Model Magic in contact with itself before you want to because it will be pretty difficult to separate. I'm using this kind of twisting motion to sort of give off this uh, piped from a can sort of look on the whipped cream. Um, this is going to take two to three days to completely dry. I waited about one day before I actually attached it so that it could uh, dry on something that it wouldn't that it's supposed to be stuck to rather uh, when I was drying it on the side table that I had it uh, tended to get stuck to the uh, surface a little bit. Uh, you'll actually notice in the clip I have after this one of me sculpting the whipped cream shape, um, I actually have even a little bit of difficulty just peeling it off the top of this uh, lid. But uh, just sort of layer it on top of one another. Uh, make sure the straw fits, that's super important. So I set it in just about here so I could continue shaping and making sure that I left a hole that the straw could fit through so that I could actually use it. This is definitely a novelty sort of item and it definitely needs to be hand washed, um, but I think it is really cute and uh, definitely the finished product's adorable. Uh, after you have the shape you want, make sure you don't have any holes sticking out to kind of break the illusion. Uh, so kind of squeeze it together and make sure that there's nothing really showing underneath. Once you are satisfied, you are pretty much set to go. Here's the challenge of peeling it off, of course. Uh, and like I said, I set this on a side table to dry for about a day before I continued on with this project. Um, the next thing I did was I wanted to paint my cup white so that it kind of looked more like a Starbucks cup or another sort of travel mug from a coffee company. Uh, I used a stippling mo motion to uh, get it the most opaque. And here's what it looked like after I had done the whole thing. Uh, next I wanted to create like a custom logo. I didn't want to steal from Starbucks or Costa Coffee, but I did kind of want something inspired by that. So I found this website that allowed you to create a similar logo, and I'll link that in the description box below. And I ended up making a Kai Mega related one, surprise, surprise. Uh, here I'm making sure the colors are correct on both sides, and I made it blue to match the straw. After I printed it out, uh, I printed it out to a size of about 3 inches on the Microsoft Word ruler. Um, the smaller one is 2 inches and definitely a little too small. So then I took some Mod Podge. Here I am just applying a layer of Mod Podge to the back of the logo. After that coat was done, I set it to the side, dipped in for a little bit more Mod Podge, and uh, painted some uh, a section about the same size as the logo on the cup so that it would have something to stick to. Make sure not to bend it in any weird ways and you might get some folds. It's also important to take just a little bit of extra time here to make sure you don't have any air bubbles in your logo. So really press it in and smooth it out so that it's flat against the cup. Lastly, just add a big layer of Mod Podge over everything. Mine had some glitter in it from a previous project. Um, I just kind of left it. I didn't really mind the way it looked. Um, I think the cup turned out great anyway. After that, you're just going to want to super glue your dried whipped cream to the top of your cup and stick your straw in. There we go. 
Overall, I think this looks really great, completely finished. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see some of my other DIYs on a budget, of course. And thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye!